I'm Aaron Maté sitting in for Jimmy Dore here with Misha Pollan, and we're talking about uh, balloonary, splunary six, as Kurt Metzger calls it, <laughs> this crisis of these balloons flying over the U.S. and being shot down by our military to the cost of millions of dollars. And we've learned that some of those balloons are most likely the product of a balloon hobby club. Uh, that's the headline from Aviation Week. Hobby Club's missing balloon feared shot down by the U.S. Air Force. But all of this is of no concern to members of Congress who, of course, will use any opportunity they can to justify, guess what? Yes, more spending on the military. So check out how some Republicans are seizing on this balloon controversy. Here's the headline in Politico. Lawmakers seize on spy balloon to inflate defense spending. Lobbyists, meanwhile, are pitching new radars and other homeland defense systems to the Pentagon and Congress. So yes, $12 balloons are going to be now be used to try to justify hundreds of millions of dollars more in weapon spending on top of the uh, hundreds of billions of dollars that are already spent. And here's more from Politico. Defense hawks in Congress cite many reasons to keep money flowing to the Pentagon. Enemy fleets, hypersonic missiles, nuclear threats. Now they have a new one. And it was shot down over the Atlantic Ocean on February 4th. Lawmakers and lobbyists are pouncing on a Chinese spy balloon. And again, that's propaganda. There's no evidence this was a spy balloon. This very well could have been a weather surveillance balloon that was blown into the U.S. by bad weather. Uh, they're pouncing on the balloon's seven-day incursion over North America this month to push back against possible defense budget cuts and make the case for even more funding. As Congress grapples with the growing threat from Beijing, yes, the growing threat of balloons from Beijing, mm -hmm. and doubts about the military's ability to detect similar objects. I don't think there's one U.S. senator who has been going to these briefings that thinks that the message out of this is less defense spending, said Dan Sullivan, uh, a Republican of Alaska. His state has been at the center of two of the recent flights. Yes, Alaska is the epicenter of $12 balloons. And because of that, we need tens of billions of dollars more in defense spending, according to, Repu to Republican logic here. And here's more. Uh, here's an effort. Here's uh, Jim Shudo of CNN trying to make something out of this. He says, he says, interesting theory on the Chinese balloons from former no NORAD ops director, Major General S Sean Clancy. And let's hear. Oh, we don't have actually what that theory is, but Clancy says that Beijing is gauging the coherence, resilience, and firmness of Taiwan and the U.S. in advance of potential military action on Taiwan. So yes, because China wants to invade Taiwan, it sent over a weather surveillance balloon, most likely that's what it is, and meanwhile got its allies in balloon hobby clubs in Illinois to send up $12 balloons to see how we'd react. And here is... Uh, Stephen Miller, he's a former Trump administration official, sharing his views about the balloon. This administration is refusing to say what is happening. What are these objects? What are these crafts? Who is directing them? How are they getting here? What is their mission? But Congress can force this administration to provide those answers by, number one, holding public hearings immediately, and number two, making clear if the relevant agencies do not provide answers, that they will lose funding, that their offices will lose funding, that their executive officers will have their jobs wiped out. Either answer to Congress or go home. The power of the purse is the greatest power to settle these disputes. I would love that if they held congressional hearings into these balloons. <laughs> and let's bring in first those balloon enthusiasts from Illinois to answer. Mm -hmm. Answer, first of all, did they spend $12 on their balloon or was it more, was this like a more premium model? Was this like over $100? Right, right. <laughs> and why are they, why are they in cahoots with the Chinese? Yes, of course. Who sent them? Who sent them? Who is their Chinese <laughs> intermediary? Here's the NORAD, the former NORAD guy, uh, speaking to Jim Shudo of CNN. Here's his theory. Well, the principal thing in this puzzle that I, I think are intelligence services and NORAD uh, and both governments are trying to figure out from Canada and the United States, what's the real intent behind this? Uh, we think of this in terms of intelligence. Is it possibly is it somebody who likes balloons and that's their hobby and they spent $12 on a balloon and now they're <laughs> putting it up in the sky? Is that possibly the reason behind this? Oh, no. That you're, you're, you're too naive, <laughs> Nick Aaron. <laughs> Solutions gathering, that's highly tactical. What are you seeing? Uh, are measuring your reactions from NORAD. But, you know, extrapolate that out to the political and geostrategic level. 
what does this indicate yeah. in our reactions as Occidental nature uh, nations for an incursion across you know, the Taiwan Straits. Uh, and maybe that's the kind of test that this is. Look how interested Jim Shudo is. And he's like, ooh, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, ooh, I like that. I like that. Let's bring this back to Taiwan. Let's stoke some more war with China. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, if you're in one of these balloon clubs, you got to be pretty, I mean, it's got to be scary that you're being, you know, your objects are being shot down. But at the same time, you're now stoking a geopolitical conflict. That's pretty exciting. yeah. It's it's amazing. It's like the uh, this is like the the Chinese balloon crisis. I don't know. It's like they you know every you know how long have they been doing this for? They they go out there. You must have a protocol for how you put up your balloons, and you don't think probably you're going to set off uh, something that increases the tensions in a new Cold War. It's just it's got to be no matter how you feel politically, it's got to be exciting. You're part of this geopolitical incident. Um, which some people refer to as an invasion. This is Jim Reich. We've played this before, but this is such a hit. Let's play this again. This is Senator Jim Reich, uh, the, the Republican, ranking Republican on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Here's what he says. Did you get the information that you wanted, Senator? Are you more confused than you were going into the briefing today? What, what can you tell us? Well, I don't think I'm more confused. Uh, I'm, I'm like everybody else up here. It's really important that the nation hear uh, from the president of the United States on this. And just as importantly, uh, the world should hear from the president on this. Criticism I would have is they've been slow to react on this uh, from the beginning. Look, this was an invasion of the United States by a uh, uh, balloon that belonged. (laughs) This is an invasion of the United States by a balloon. This is a senator. This person is elected to office. He's supposed to be taking politics and world events somewhat seriously and he's saying on national television that we were invaded by a balloon it's incredible to the uh, chinese government uh it was sent in intentionally it was spying no it wasn't sent intentionally according to all the latest information it was pushed into the u.s by a weather system uh that was reported in the washington post we've covered that so he's just saying fake claims whether he knows it or not aren't those the westerlies yeah, the westerlies, right? Yeah. Those are the winds. Yeah, the winds. It was there was some sort of uh, some sort of uh, weather system recently that pushed some cold air into the U.S. and the balloon was not supposed to be making its way to the U.S. but it got pushed by that. That's what the Washington Post has reported, and no one's contradicted because it makes sense. Because if you are China, you really want to spy on the U.S. You're probably not going to do it with a balloon that everyone can see, and that it can't be even steered to a different course because it's controlled by a weather system, basically. Uh, and here is Congress member Mike Turner, a Republican uh, chair of the House Intelligence Committee. He's going to tell us why all these balloons show the need for more money on the military. Are you, are you glad that they were sh- that they shot down these two objects? Because uh, obviously you and other Republicans were critical for the uh, that the Biden team took as long as they did to shoot down the, the object that was clearly a Chinese spy balloon. Sure. It wasn't clearly a Chinese spy <laughs> balloon. It was a weather balloon. That's what it most clearly was. Uh, unless evidence comes out to contradict that. But look how look how easily these people just regurgitate propaganda if it serves a narrative of the state. Um, no one's telling them to say this. No one told Jake, Cap- Jake Tapper to call this a spy balloon. But he just knows that to be in the chair that he's in, to be there, he has to prop up the narrative like a puppet and there's no deviation from that whatsoever and that means you can go on and promote things like more military spending which is what these people are here to do ultimately as i was saying i I would prefer them to be trigger happy than to be permissive but we're going to have to see whether or not this is just the administration trying to to change headlines but what i think this shows which is probably more important to our policy discussion here is that we really have to declare that we're going to defend our airspace and then we need to invest. What's been come clear in the public discussion is that we don't really have adequate radar systems. We certainly don't have an integrated missile defense system. We're going to have to begin to look at the United States airspace as one that we need to defend and that we need to have appropriate sensors to do so. This shows some of the problems and gaps that we have. We need to fill those as soon as possible because we certainly now ascertain there is a threat. Do, do- All right. So given the fact that uh, members of Congress are seizing on these balloons 
to promote more spending on weapons on top of the obscene amounts we already spent. The decent thing to do would be for Lockheed Martin, uh, Raytheon, General Dynamics to donate a lot of money to the balloon hobbyists who -hmm. sent these balloons up because they're helping to increase their bottom line. That would be the right thing to do. Doing live stand-up comedy in Tempe, Palm Springs, Milwaukee, Nashville, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, Coho's, New York, and Hartford, Connecticut. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets and become a premium member. Get access to all our content.